and gentlemen, we've got Kyron Pollard, the captain of the Mumbai Indians, to address this press conference today. Uh, Skipper, this win takes the team to the golden number eight. However, this year, in a possible scenario, five teams can end with eight wins with net run rates coming into play. Is the team con consciously thinking about the permutations and combinations and what's the mood like in the camp? Uh, we haven't gotten much time to think about that. Um, I think our main game today was to get two points. Um, I thought we really went out and we played well to get those two points. Um, we have a couple of days um, thinking, watching the other games, then we'll be able to think about all these things, about net run rate and whatever. But again, after a defeat last game, we wanted to come back stronger. Winning the toss, bowling first, was the team happy with the target of 165 at the midway stage? What was the pass score according to you? Yeah, we were very, very happy. At one point, it looked like we were staring down the barrel of 190 to 200. Um, and I thought, you know, we came back really, really well. And to restrict a batting lineup like um, RCB with wickets in hand at the position they were in to 165, I think was well done to the bowlers. Boomerang coming back, getting wickets, you know, Bolti, you know, as well, you know, Krunal Pandya, you know, bowling four economical overs for us as well. So, again, it was a total, total team effort in terms of the ball and restricting them was very, very good for us. The bowling unit did a very good job for you in the middle overs and with the RCB's middle order, uh, they stemmed the flow of runs. What was the discussion in the first strategic timeout to make sure that's put in place, controlling the flow of runs? Yeah, um, and it was simple. We, we realized they were 50 odd, you know, after the first six overs. That's about 10 runs over par of what we what we expected. But you know, it's just a matter of staying there. You know, once we got a wicket, you know, we, our spinners will come into play, and so they did. And it worked for us, you know, after a couple of overs, they got away from us again, but we were able to pull it back at all. You know, luckily, you know, I came on at that time and I got the wicket of AB with a innocuous de delivery that could have gone straight for six and the momentum would have been straight to them. So, again, yeah, a bit of luck, you know, on our side as well, but I think the guys really, really bowled well. The next one, from your perspective as a captain and as a batsman who bats in... Uh, well-directed short balls and low full tosses have emerged as key weapons for fast bowlers in the IPL. Your thoughts and perspective on that? Um, I guess the low full tosses are one that just comes out. You don't deliberately look to bowl a low full toss. So, again, they have been weapons because you're looking to nail that yorker and it's difficult to hit a, a low full toss. But, again, you use the pitch, you know, there's, the grounds are big enough. Even if the guys take it on, they got to really take it on and take it on well. So, again, you know, sometimes you got to do what the wicket you know, tells you to do and bowl in that sort of situation. So I think we use it pretty well. We use the short ball pretty well, especially in this game. And we'll see what we'll come up with you know, come next game. You lost early wickets. Siraj's cross seamers were holding up. In such a situation, what do you make of Surya Kumar's innings and the value of that particular knock? I think it was very, very valuable. Um, we always spoke about, you know, one of the top three batters or top four batters, one batting all the way through if we're chasing, you know, go all the way through and win the game for us. Um, I think he has done that, you know, more often than not. You know, last couple of times he gave it away, but, you know, he keep learning each and every time and taking, you know, constructive, you know, sort of criticisms, you know, pretty well because he wants to do well. And again, today he showed his class in, you know, how well, you know, he can bat. And I know deep down inside the burning desire, you know, to wear to don that blue. But again, he continues to show consistency, which is all that he can do as an individual. Finally, for the last three games against RCB, Mumbai Indians have been very successful in keeping Virat Kohli in check. What is it that you have spotted, which that you have figured out, to, so that you know he does not score those big runs against you? Um, I really don't think you expect me to answer that one. We might still have to play them in a tournament again. So, again, you know, we, we go back, we sit, we plan, and hopefully whatever plans we come with, it works so far. But he's a class player, you know. It takes a couple balls for him, and he can take the game straight away from us. So we're not getting too much ahead of ourselves. We take it as it comes, and, you know, hopefully we see what happens the next time around. Skipper, thank you so much, and all the best. Thank you.